hi guys this friday i've come with this native spaghetti recipe dear italians we are sorry but this is really delicious and i think you should try it first you're going to put your spaghetti in hot boiling water and salt it then you're going to leave that to cook till it's like 80 percent done here i have my tatashi green rodo red rodo and onions rodo is also called scotch bonnet pepper and now we're just going to take our mix of peppers and put them into a chopper or a blender then we'll blend that me i like my own roughly blended or roughly chopped that is why i'm using this manual chopper so we're just going to put everything inside then we're going to chop it until until it is finely chopped it can be smoother but i like mine like this you can also blend it, it's based on your own preference. So this is what we have after chopping it. And now I'm just going to put red oil or palm oil in a pot and heat it up. While the oil is heating up in the pot, you're just going to slice up some onions and you're going to fry that in the red oil until it's infused in the oil so now we're going to take our pepper mix the one we chopped and we're going to put it in the hot oil and we're just going to let that fry just stir it from time to time so it doesn't burn you want to make sure it is properly fried so now we're going to add the crayfish it gives it a really nice taste and aroma and next i went in with my locust bean powder also known as iru powder you can also add iru but then i do not like to see it in my food that is why i added it in powdered form now you're going to add your seasoning cubes you're going to be tasting it as you're adding so you don't add too much next we're going to add our fried proteins in it here i have goat's meat but more bala fish and prawns so you're going to add that inside and you're going to stir it you add up a little water you can add eggs but then i'm going to remove the eggs before i add the spaghetti so it doesn't scatter in it now we're just going to let that cook for about a minute while we check on our boiling spaghetti now our spaghetti is about 80 to 85 percent done we're just going to sieve it and we're going to put it inside our sauce our native pasta sauce so this is me adding in the spaghetti into the native pasta sauce so we're going to remove the eggs from the sauce don't forget to remove the eggs unless you are really really experienced in stirring but i'll advise you to remove the eggs because that's just what i did i removed the eggs before giving it a mix and now after adding all the spaghetti that i wanted to add to the sauce i went ahead and i gave it a very good mix i didn't use a whole spa spaghetti for this i didn't use a whole pack of spaghetti for this because i wanted it to be really really tasty so that's why i reduce the quantity of spaghetti before boiling it so now i just gave it a very good mix make sure everything is properly mixed you can add some water if you don't like your spaghetti too dry but this is exactly how i like mine not too dry not too watery so you can add some water if you want it but just make sure you mix it properly and make sure you, you don't see any white part of the spag again make sure everything is properly mixed then you're just going to use scent leaf at this point you can start cutting your scent leaf some people add ugu leaves you can add ugu leaves as well but i in this particular recipe i added just scent leaf So after giving it a good mix, I went ahead and I added my washed scent leaves and I gave it another mix. Try not to mix it too much because you end up having broken spaghetti. Your spag will be short and we don't want that unless it's your preference. 
at this point you can just leave it to cook for about a minute and your spaghetti is done and you can serve me i dished mine with plantain and it was so good it was very very yummy and i hope you try this too